Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines with your stream, Lord Sindra the Mad. Hey, do you have any news for me? No. But this is the Emperor Hotel. And... I don't yet have the melee skill, do I? Which means I need that one more point in melee. So we need to find a different lead before we continue on into that place. Because I don't want to go there without my axe. Hmm. It might be that I cannot deal with the, any alternatives before I go in there, though. Which might not be the best. Yeah. Let's go see. I saw you. You thought you could hide from me? No, I saw you do that. Hello. Yes? May I help you? I seek Queen Jezebel. Yes. Miss Locke is one of our more... Um... Popular guests. Why do you ask? I need the key to her kingdom. I can't do that. It's against hotel policy. I am the Queen's long-lost plot sister. I see. Well, in that case... Perhaps I can make an exception. Here's the key to her suite. Have a nice evening. Thank you. The lock shall now open to me. That lock even. Oh, and that got me the experience point I needed. So, accept that. And now my melee skill is... 4 total, but... This should help. Read. Oh, you need to read these to gain the abilities. Gotcha. So now if I look at my character sheet, my melee skill is up to 5, which means I can use my axe. On oh, sweet Chasable. Uh, though I don't know where Chasable's room is. Uh, so you gave me the key, but where is the room? Where's my key ring? Let me take a look at my key ring. Chasable locks key. Well, yeah, that helps. Still didn't know where she is. Employees only. I'm lucky they don't have any security here, so that's fine. What's here? Uh, suits. Trust me, I'm an engineer. Wait, no. Uh, not that. Uh, tell me about... The Albany suit. The Albany suit, first floor, is available. Next reservation, Sunday. Queen suit? Is occupied and that's Johansson booked until on notice. Manhattan suit. Available. Okay. It Hacha suit. Occupied. Ashley Jones. Cool. Brooklyn suit. Fifth floor by Chesa Blue Lock. Gotcha. Buffalo suit. Boris Chekhov indefinitely. Alright. Uh, guest box? Give me that information. So, power and wealth. Good passwords. Tell me about this Chekhov person. Planet La Femme, steak and lobster. Hmm. And Anderson has what? What? Nothing. Jones Ashley? A put of shop de chatre, $290. A lock? Hasn't ordered anything. This doesn't surprise me, she mostly feeds on... No, let's be honest, she mostly feeds on guests and escorts. So to spill her blood to more people. And here's the ballroom. Here's the corridor and here's room 4. Oh, yeah. Who do we have here? Are you a believer, little morsel? Have you come for the kind of enlightenment only Jezebel can give? Are you the Wicked Queen? Queen? Ah, yes. I am Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. You are Malkavian, are you not? Speaking in twisted riddles, your eyes dancing with visions they don't understand. Won't you dance with Jezebel, little morsel? 
I'd rather pierce my tongue with part wire. Oh, come on now. Don't deny yourself the pleasure of Jezebel's talents. Just a few more steps and we can be enveloped by the sweet darkness. Become slaves to the desires of our wasted flesh. I forgot my damn damn, damn it. Oh, you cannot escape me, little morsel. One way or another, you and I will intertwine our beings on the way into the Ninth Circle. And I will send you forth, full of the sweet sickness I carry. You seem to be a cook who sips poisoned Kool-Aid. Yes, I follow the path of the Ninth Circle. Come and join the enlightened, indulging your animal instincts until both kine and kindred lie spent upon the altar. Desire will be our truth. Desire and the death that follows. You pull the veil back from a sword, Second Siren. I cannot control my hunger any longer. Come, the truth will be shown to you as I drink the blood from your twice lifeless body. Oh, it will be ecstasy. Oh, ecstasy, little morsel. Sweet ecstasy. I will feed your ashes to the fires of hell. Oh. Balls. Let me just, uh, give me a moment here. I need to get my axe. Thank you. Oh, God. That's a lot of damage. I just need to keep her locked in that stun. There we go. Ooh, that was... Bloody close. Oh! And our masquerade is now, once again, fine. Oh, and we got a new book. What is this about? I need a research skill of at least six to use that, so I need to up my intelligence? Yes. Or just straight up scholarship, but I think intelligence gives me more in this case. Okay, let's foster. We have done what we have been set to do in this place. Let's see if she has any secret loot in her toilet or bathtub. Oh no, I don't have a reflection. I really want to see how my outfit looks. But even that is without reflection. Such is the curse, I suppose. If this door doesn't work, these doors don't work either. What are we done here? Come on. There we go. We've done a fine job at this hotel. But there's more of the ninth circle out there, I believe. Yeah, I've killed Jezebel, but that's about it. I need to find a nice calm place where I can have a drink. But I do not know what such a nice calm place would be. If there were a hobo here, I could just tip him up, but no. No nice little homeless people for us. It's a long road. We have to walk to get to the last round. A long road covered in more people. Did I find Paul's body or why did he was so sure he was dead? Ugh, Kim. Paul is dead, it is not a rumor. We told him to burn the blood and go to the hospital. Said he thought he'd get over it. Men are stubborn that way. This proves the plague bearer's gotta be found. The carrier pigeon is extinct. Right on. Except we just did a second one over near the convention center. They're part of some doomsday cult, apparently. No telling how many there are, but it's open season on all these sick sons of bitches. I see. More pigeons for this cat to catch. I begin my prowl. Prowl. So, let's go hunt those bums. Let's be fair, you can never go wrong with a good bum. 
nice pump, a good pump. What? Get away from me! Leave me alone! I need to know of the disease that haunts the homeless. <coughs> oh, you do? Well, I don't believe you. You're after my aluminum cans, aren't you? Well, you're not gonna get them. Just get away! Don't you recall your tale to a friendly familiar face? Ah, oh, okay. All I know is that old Tin Can Bill, he's been jabbering about some kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him sick. And that's all I know, okay? And that's all I'm saying. Where is this man of the cans? Well, you can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar over there. Farewell, my bedraggled beauty. Okay, so you should be here somewhere? Either of you? No? Are you the gentleman I seek? <coughs> Who's there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is that you, Betty? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. Ah, I see you wear the Dark Brothers mark. <coughs> Dark Brother? What are you talking about? It's just me, old Tin Can Bill. Now leave an old man alone to sleep in peace. I don't want to be bothered unless you've got a bottle to share. Tell me the source of your sickness. Yeah, I might be able to. <laughs> but I'm awful thirsty tonight, miss. Could you spare five bucks for a man who's been down on his luck? I, rom I promise to pay your toll after the tale. <laughs> Thank you much. <laughs> I have to go pick up some hooch. <laughs> For medicinal purposes, you know. <laughs> Would I get sick now, if I tried I to drink from him? I'm going to believe old Bill because I've been telling my friends and the cops and everyone since it happened. And people just say that it's the hooch talking and nothing more. Your words bear the weight of truth. It was a monster, you see. Monster with his face all twisted and ugly, teeth longer than your finger, and these eyes piss yellow and full of hate. I've never seen eyes like that before, still giving me bad dreams. Keep your tongue wagging. He grabbed me, threw me over his shoulder, took me to the bad place, the dark place. <laughs> oh, God, the smell, worse than anything I've. And then he bit me, my neck. Oh, God, it was horrible. Don't remember too much after that. Blacked out and woke up here in my alley. <laughs> Haven't been feeling too well since then. <laughs> Where did the beast of brother take you? <laughs> he came up through the sewers, he did. Just around the corner there. <laughs> I don't want to go back to the bad place, friend. <coughs> don't let the monster come back and take me there. <coughs> the beast of brother will haunt you no more. The beast of brother will pay the price for your puncturing. And I didn't even get to give him my five bucks. It's like which part of the sewer is the one I'm looking for? Who knows? Is it here? Hmm? Looks like something. Yeah, this certainly looks like something. Something hella spooky. I'm gonna unholster my weapon, I think. Following the 
the smell of entrails, but rotting flesh. Looking for a free meal, little bloodsucker. There's meat galore in my kingdom. The beast of brother you are. Brother Canker, they call me. High lord in the diseased halls of the dead. Look around you. The blood. The bloated bodies. The maggot ripped mortal shells. These are the signs. The coming of a new age. Do you speak of the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle? The Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. The darkest dawn is almost upon us. Come, join us in these last nights, spreading our disease upon the earth, sharing this unholy communion with our human heart. <sighs> Why do you prey on society's strengths? They are the weak, sick, Hopeless. I bring them a new purpose. They are the vessels of darkness, carrying the diseased truth in their veins. You cracked. You cracked maze of a mind. The doors have been opened, the seals broken, and the final steps into the abyss. The terrible mysteries of the ninth circle. <laughs> I will stand no more for the spreading of your sickness. Come, join the disciples who have gathered here, floating in their own putrescence. I will show you the mysteries of our brotherhood as I feed on your flesh! The lip sync there was kind of odd because it went so loud, but the mouth was still just like, uh, well. Yes, we will dance the stereo stereos until you are dead. Once again, I'm going to have to request that you get stun locked. Sir, 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 sir. Thank you. Let me blood buff myself, thank you. Just so I can be the stronger one. Excellent. Okay, now I can put my weapon away. Brotherhood Flyer. Let's take a look at that. The writing on this flyer says, I am enlightened. Cool. Okay, that undoes that. And this and this. Do what exactly? Is that to hold it down? Yes, yeah, seems so. Alright. This gives me art. Ah. Looks like it gives me some water flowing into here. Which might give me the chance to get out of here. Can I jump out from here? Oh, I can. Then I'm absolutely uncertain what I actually accomplished. Don't tell anyone I saw you. Like, while I'm here, I might as well just fill up. It gives a little bit of blood, which is better than no blood. I need to eat two more rats, I think, until. Which is acceptable. Oh, well. Hmm. 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 Okay, that was not quite as easy a possible path than I assumed. Is there a different way out of here then? Oh, apparently I can go down here. Or Sphinx Fam. That takes me right back to here. Which gave me absolutely nothing. I certainly can't reach that from here. So how do I get out of this sewer? I know for a fact that... 
He must have had a way to do it. If I turn this other way now, what happens? Those are still shiny. And I still have no idea what I'm doing. Wait! Oh, I mistook that for a friend of ours. Similar look, not identical I guess. The water reflection is... Strange. Hmm. Right? Still unsure as to how to get out of here. Going to have to take a look this way. This looks like a bad idea. But it wasn't as bad an idea as I thought. Good. Okay, final snack. And our blood supply is once again full. Okay, let's get back to the surface somewhere. I think I can take this one. Yeah. Cool. Rest in peace, Bill. Right, we are well fed and ready to rock. Let's go put an end to this ninth circle. And end this plague that's messing with our little town. Los Angeles. A little town. Yes, that's what they called it. Alright, it should be right over here, right? Just behind this stop sign. It's not even a nine pointed star. To be fair, they are advertising it as you a... enlightened yet, sister? Hallelujah, brother. I see the light. I see. Welcome to the Brotherhood. The bishop will see you upstairs. Alright. That's good. Oh, they have a cast area. I'll take that. You weren't using that, right, miss? Miss? You okay? Hey. D did you get summoned? You're going uh, upstairs to see the bishop. Yeah, summoned? You're n new to the Brotherhood, huh? Just got enlightened. I, I've been here a few days. <laughs> when the bishop wants to see you, you'll be summoned, and then you go up these um, these stairs up to the, the t temple. Tell me of this storied temple. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I hear things, but but I haven't been summoned. I had a friend snuck up there a few days ago. She said she saw things, bad, bad things. Yeah. What vile visions? Blood. She said, um, b -b blood everywhere. She um she saw a few of the summoned to try to uh oh to talk to them, but they just. Just stared at her with these, um, these woo blank looks, you know. No, one of them uh, started reaching for her, and she, she ran away. You wear your fear like a shadowy veil. Yeah, yeah. I know. The b -b bishop said we have to shed our, um, our, uh, our earthly fears on our journey to the, to the ninth circle. I'm, I'm scared to go upstairs. I, I just, uh, I just, I just want to go home. You know, I want to go home. Oh well, set your fear. Death has come for the bishop and his brotherhood. Don't worry. No elevator. I guess we need to take the stairs. And I will be there, Death. 
But that doesn't look friendly, does it? Hi. You dead yet? Oh, someone hit me. How very rude of them. Oh my god, she exploded. Anyone else here? Still need to be exploded? Fine, explode. for now let's take a look around for a second oh there comes another friend this looks fine oh there's something over there but there's some more bodies to explode before then anything in here oh there's some rats why well, don't I go for a rat at this point I tried to block if right click once again it did not work but it did give me a blood buff which isn't a bad thing to say hello thank you this there was this one path here that I want to look at. I don't know where this gets me. It might get me where I'm needed to go, which might not be the best. Okay, so that looks like another corridor. Right, this is where I just was, right? Yeah. Nothing in here. These doors are closed. Go here. As far as I can see, it's the closed door. You still up? Okay. Take a rest, will you? You too. Have a nap, preferably an eternal one. Oh, I just saw some papers moving in. Oh, what's that? Okay, I do appreciate how. Nicely they blow up at times. Okay, let's take our bot onwards. Oh, did I see something there? Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay, do we go up? Do we do it down from here now? I saw something here, it was shiny. I don't know if I picked it up or not, but I stepped over it. Might have lost it forever. I don't know. More zombies. I'm sort of curious as to how they are made. Are they like some sort of a cheapskate cool version? Yes, I'm, I'm thinking they might be budget cools. But it's entirely possible that they are just zombies. But I guess not in the entirely traditional sense of the world. both just fly around. Is that enough for you? Yeah it is. I just wanna murder you all. I, don't, I know I don't get any XP for just murdering all of you, but still. 
there's no harm to it. Okay, that's a dead end. This is the room. Welcome, sister. I see you have been enlightened. Are you searching for something? Do you seek the truth? Well, you have come to the right place, sister. We've got more truth here than we can handle. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> ah, the disease-ridden demagogue. <coughs> uh, disease. Sister, you've got to open your mind. One man's disease is another man's sanctity. Here among the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle, we have shared these earthly labels. Come, partake of our divine communion. Tell me your name, Blake Bear. They call me Bishop Vic, Shepherd of the Damned, your midnight guide through our last days here on Earth. Do you feel it, sister? The curtain being drawn back at last, drawn back by my hand, by the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. Do your days also end with Gehenna? Gehenna? Judgment Day? <coughs> <coughs> the Apocalypse? Oh, again, sister, you are too indoctrinated into the antiquated beliefs of this material world. There is no rhyme or reason, no all-powerful and terrible gods who watch over their children. You talk of disease. What about the disease that you and I both carry? Our flesh remade into nothing more than an abomination, feeding on our brothers and sisters like so many cattle. What God watched over me when that demon tore into my neck and made me into this monster you see before you? No, sister. There is no God who would tolerate such a thing. And so I have become God. And the diseases I carry to the masses will bring about an end of my own making until we have all journeyed below into the Ninth Circle. Your vision is more twisted than my own. Turn from this path, Dark Bishop. The time for words has come and gone, my sister. You and I will take those last steps together and see what truth lies behind the curtain. Let the night fall forever on this cursed earth, and let the fruits of my labor bring a long and bloody harvest. Can't we let words fight this battle? No. Okay, yeah, he has a shotgun, so, um... I'm gonna go here. And I want to quick save before we do anything else. He also has a lacquer, which is the speed buff. Need to find a way to him that doesn't end with me being dead from shotgun fire. Like this, maybe. Okay, he's moving again. Okay, I'm currently ahead of the curve. We just need him to run out of ammo, to be honest. I think there he is. Trying to reload. Oh, I have ended Frenzy! Because I decided to spend all my blood, I guess. Oops. That was not my intention. But it is quick is dead. And I need blood. I need blood badly. I am very much in a need for blood. Where do I get some blood? Well... We have 7 XP, which means I don't have quite enough yet for more scholarship or for more intelligence. So we need a little bit more, so I can read that book I have. Yes. Okay, we need to find a safe place to snack. 
should save and we might need a safe snack. There's too many people moving on the streets. It's entirely possible that I might have to take the sewers to get some extra blood. On the other hand, you seem to be alone, sir. Or madam. Madam. Okay, you gave me about as much blood as a rat world. That's fine. My masquerade uh, qualities have all been completely and utterly redone, so that's good. Downtown. Report back to the region, report back to the damsel. Then let the damsel know first. Damsel, I am ready to enter a frenzy. How are you doing? Ugh, the king of the carrier pigeons and all his filthy chicks are finally extinct. You killed all of them? You. <laughs> so I guess you want me to thank you or something? Damn it. Thanks, okay? Well, cool for now, but just don't go bragging to everybody about it. You're a thorny and fire breathing damsel, but I will still rescue you. Righteous. You know, you just may have an anarch soul. I'll let you chew on that, Cammy. Some of the boys might have overheard our conversation and gotten the impression I've gone soft. Somebody in this joint's gotta lack the restraint to keep their mouth shut. Maybe. See you, damsel. Yeah, I don't think anyone else here currently has much to give me. So let's inform the Regent of our victory as well. Regent, sir? Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Might we trade words, Wizard King? Of course. I broke the withered horse of pestilence and his dark bishop in the grave. You have? Impressive, young one. What exactly was the source of the epidemic? Bishop Vic sat upon the withered horse. Tell me of this so-called bishop. He wished to close the curtain on our cursed trauma. I see. That end may very well be upon us. But to business. I have a debt to pay you for your services. But treasures. If you so desire, I can give to you a unique talisman that might be of use in the future. If that does not interest you, I can compensate you with hard currency. You decide. I'll take the Trisha Talisman. A wise decision, Neonate. True power lies not in wealth, but in the things it affords you. I hope this object serves you well. May I mine your grey matter? What is it you would like to know? What know you of the current sarcophagus? No more than yourself. But I do know that LaCroix is much too focused on acquiring it. His obvious need for it reveals a weakness that his enemies may one day exploit. What secret lie, lie beneath its lid? I do not know, although I must admit that I sense a change in the night air, something subtle and not altogether pleasant. Perhaps the arrival of the sarcophagus is the harbinger of something more dreadful. A dark shadow, a curious hair, and a pillar of blades in the night sky. You seem to know more than I about these matters. I pray that your visions don't portend the end of us all. May I mind your grey matter? What is it you would like to know? Uh, one more thing. Of course. I am no longer here. Thank you for your time. And thank you for the talisman. What does it do? All Grindred have the innate power to push their undead bodies to the height of mortal capacity, but only for a moment at the dire cost of blood. This Eldritch Talisman was crafted to boost this ability. Blood buff has twice the duration. Ooh. That's not a bad thing at all. Let's see, that's pretty nifty. Okay, now, I don't actually remember the way out of here, do I? Oh, I did. Yay. And on that note, I believe I should thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Yes. Bye-bye.